I was there at the end, you know, after the war when Saigon fell. On the USS Kirk, patrol on the coast. And when the country went, it went fast. And we had like you know, 24 hours to get everybody out. And not just Americans, but our allies, the South Vietnamese, all packed on the boats and helicopters. We stood on the deck and waved them in. One by one, they'd land, unload, and then we'd push the whirly birds into the sea. The damnedest thing. But then this Chinook comes, and those things, well, you can't just land one on a ship this size. So we wave him off. But the pilot's got his whole family inside, and he's running out of fuel, so it's now or never. So he hovers over the deck. People start jumping. Scared or not, onto the ship. There's a baby. Literally a, a tiny baby. And the mother just, just drops him. And one of my boys, like catching a ball, just sticks out his hands. So now everybody's out. And I'm thinking, how the heck is this pilot, right? How's he gonna get out? But he maneuvers off the port bow and he hovers there for the longest time doing, you know, what we learn later, uh, taking off his flight suit. And somehow he rolls the bird on its side and just before it hits the water, he jumps. 6,000 pounds, of angry helicopter parts flying all around him. Somehow he makes it. How'd he do that? What are you seeing? Your husband. He said he was going to protect his family no matter what. And I acted like I didn't understand, but I do. It's the rock we all push, men. We call it our burden, but it's really our privilege.